today we are going to implement signing in, signing up, and logging out functionality in Flutterflow. My name is Anya, and this is Original Strokes. Right now, all we have is Firebase integration already set up. What we want to do is add in authentication. So I'm going to go down here to app settings and click on authentication. I can enable authentication by turning this on. Choose Firebase as my authentication type. Now what we're prompted with this. In order to include authentication, you need to have a entry page, which is a page that's facilitating the sign in, and then a logged in page. So when you're already logged in, where do you go? And that's going to be your home page. Let's set this up. But before we even get to that, we need to actually work on creating a collection in Firebase. So what does this mean? We have set up an arbitrary database, but that database isn't fit to hold any information. For us to include authentication in our application, we need to have some space in our database to store a given user. And a user is just an overarching name for a set of emails and names that will hold your user object. So when you log in, a user data type needs to be created. We can do this by creating a collection. This is just going to assign that space and we can call it user and click create. What Flutterflow does when you try to create a user field is automatically gives you this prompt for them to pre-populate it with the default fields. And we can see that it gave us all of these different fields that are part of the user data type already built in. This includes things like email, display name, photo URL, etc. We don't need all of these, but I'm just going to leave them for now in case you as a builder later want to add more fields like a profile picture functionality. So now that we've created this user data type, we can go back here. Over here, since we've chosen authentication, we need to have a place for the user data type to go. And we've just set that collection to be the user. What we can do now is update our Firestore rules. Just click deploy. And then do the same for the schema. Okay, now we can start building this. I'm also gonna click this to create a test environment for later when we need to do it. So right now we've set up the box per se in our database where we can put these user objects. But now we need to actually facilitate the creation of a person who can go inside that box. To do this, we need to have some sort of login page. Here I have the home page. I'm just gonna name this home but we still need our sign up page to start. I'm going to click add a page. You can start creating from blank, but since this is a very common use case, I'm just going to choose this page and create it with the default theme. What this does is it has two pages, the sign in and sign up, and it's going to allow the user to navigate between either and then we can add the actions to actually make them sign up. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean some of this up. We don't need all of those social origins and I'm just going to delete find passwords. So now we have our sign in page and our sign up page. Let's start with sign up because first we want the user to be able to create an account. I'm going to go over here to actions and we can see that they already have an action created for us but i'm actually going to ignore it so i can show you what this looks like we want to click create an action then go down to backend slash database firebase authentication and choose create an account we want the authentication provider to be email the email field to be email address and the password field to be password. Our confirm password field will be this password confirm. Just to make sure we're looking at the right stuff. It's actually not, sorry. We'll have to go back 
instead of password, this will be password create. And we can see that that's the correct thing because it lights up. And email address will be email address underscore create. And then here we have the password confirm. It now creates a document of the user type. I'm actually going to click on this email and paste it back into this container and scroll it up to the top. I'm going to rename this name and go down here and choose name. I'm also going to go down here and just make the keyboard type text. What this is going to do is give us another piece of information to add when creating the user, just to show you what that process would look like. So we've added this new input. Now, in addition to having this login action, we can now set a field and we can make display name equal to the from variable value. And we want this name. We can just click on that and then click confirm. Perfect. The last part of this action is this navigate automatically. So we're going to make this authentication one be our entry page. So not logged in users will go to authentication one. Logged in users will go to the home screen. So here when we say navigate automatically, it's automatically going to bring users to our logged in screen, the home screen, once they complete this workflow. We can try this out on our test environment. I'm just going to reload. By default, we're brought to this sign in sign up page. I'm going to click on sign up and we can use this. I'm going to type in my name. This is Anya, my email, or just a random one, test at gmail.com. I'm going to type in an arbitrary password. Five, six, and then do the same over here. Now I can click create an account. It's going to create an account and then automatically navigate me to the home page. Now all that's left to do is work out the sign in workflow. This is very similar. It actually, again, it's already pre built, but I'm going to add it in backend slash database. Firebase authentication, log in. The authentication provider is going to be email. Our email address field is going to be email address. Password field is going to be password. And we say navigate automatically. Now we can reload, try this again. And we can try to sign in with what we used. Test at gmail.com. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Sign in and this should work and navigate us back, which it did before this issue happened. The only thing that's left to do is work out a logout button. So on the home page, you can put this anywhere. I'm just going to drag in a button to log out the user. All we need to do is create an action, go to backend slash database, Firebase authentication, and choose logout. And you can navigate automatically. This will bring you back to the logged out page, which is your sign in sign up page. Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful.